Greetings, Hopkinton families and residents. I'm Carol Cavanaugh, your superintendent of schools, and I'm here to give you an FY21 budget update. Last night, at the January 16th school committee meeting, the school committee voted to approve the recommended budget. That recommended budget is at $52,309,719. This budget is a 9% increase over the FY20 budget. And I know that may sound like an awfully large increase from one fiscal year to another. This is the budget that we have chosen to recommend to the town of Hopkinton. And so as we think about this budget with a 9% increase, people are probably wondering, how did we get to 9%? I can tell you that the majority of that 9% is all about salaries. We have so many more children that we need so many more teachers. And not just teachers, but paraprofessionals, support staff. And even now, those numbers are kind of trickling down into support staff in the form of secretaries, custodians. Um, we have a lot of kids in our schools, and that is pretty much the budget driver. So what you can see on this pie chart is that 80% of the entire school's operating budget goes to salaries. Only 20% go to expenses. As you know, each year the Board of Selectmen and the Town Manager give us a, a, a budget guidance statement, so to speak. And so our original budget guidance was to keep this year's budget at 5.54%. I can assure you that that barely would cover the transportation costs and the teachers' raises that have already been um, contractually obligated at this point in time. Uh, so in a more recent meeting with the Board of Selectmen, what we learned was that we could take our budget to 6%, and still that's very different from 9%. Right now, we are about $1.4 million above their requested amount. Uh, but that's the difference, really, between what they are asking us to do and what we have done. So what is driving this budget? We have requested 13.5 new classroom teachers in the amount of 841,243. In student services, which covers special education needs, uh, OT, PT, speech, um, all of those sorts of things, we have 8.6 FTEs. And when we say 8.6, we can have paraprofessionals in there. So those are just the full-time equivalents of, of employees there. Uh, administrative roles, 153,000. We have 1.5 FTEs, so we are asking for more administrators in the district. Um, right now, at the middle school, we have two and a half administrators, so one of those halves, for example, there is to make one of the assistant principals whole. Um, and that, that number of having a principal and two assistant principals in a middle school of our size is not unusual. Social emotional personnel, 1.2 FTEs. And then we have um, some support staff. So we have four FTEs, and they are divided in dribs and drabs, really, over six different uh, departments. So we may be adding you know, 0.2 to HR, for example. Those will all add up to four FTEs. In building and grounds, we are asking for three FTEs, technology, one FTE. So our total staff request, these are all new staff positions. Uh, comes to $1,851,793. Now, I understand that that is an awful lot of money. It exceeds the $1.4 million that we are now sort of um, away from the budget guidance. So I spoke a moment ago about contractual obligations. Contractual obligations means that teachers are entitled to cost of living raises, step raises, and they can change lanes when they advance degrees. The contractual obligations for the faculty who are sitting before us right now in the Hopkinton Public Schools, um, and of course those contractual obligations also apply to raises that would be going to custodial staff, secretary, administrators, but all of the contractual obligations are at 1.8 million, almost 1.8 million, um, and that is 4.7 percent increase over last year, going from FY 2020 to FY 21. The requests that you saw on the previous slide are also about 1.8 million dollars. And so what you can see here is that the FY 20 to FY 21 salaries will be increasing um, by 9.5 percent, um, and the total amount is $41,873,001.
What I can tell you is that we are not asking for positions, any of those 13.5 teachers or 8.6 special educators, gratuitously. We need those children sitting in front of your children every, we need those educators sitting in front of your children every single day. Uh, right now, you know that we are putting additional classrooms on. We need teachers to fill those classrooms. Um, this is going to help us mitigate our problems with class size. I'd like you just for a moment to take a look also at the expense budget. So if we were to in fact try to use expenses to get down that 1.4 million, you can see that we haven't really asked for that. Our increase in terms of expenses is $614,000. If we took away all of these, and you really can't, because transportation, for example, is a non-negotiable. You have to add two buses because of the enormity um, just in terms of student enrollment. So these are some of your non-negotiables. These are the things that can't go. So just to turn back to a previous slide, these are the places where you would need to make cuts if you were to reduce that $1.4 million um, difference. And we, I am telling you that we can't do that if we want the quality of education in Hopkinton to remain the same. Here's a pie chart that just helps you see all of the budget requests um, by, or expenses by, by cost center. Um, it's really broken down by all of the people who make presentations to us in, during the budget message. What you start to see here is that Marathon, Elmwood, and Hopkins all make up somewhere around between 7 and 8 percent of the budget. The middle school is close to 13 percent of the budget, and the high school is at 18 percent of the budget. That's very typical because there are more grades in middle school and high school, and there are also different kinds of programming in the middle school and the high school. Um, you know, we clearly offer um, sort of different programs that enhance arts and music and robotics and, and all kinds of things as kids get older. Um, over here you can uh, simply see that some of the bigger pieces of the pie belong to student services, belong to building and grounds, belong to transportation. Certainly student services, transportation, those again are things that are non-negotiable. What I'm trying to say in this presentation is that we need that 9%. We need all of the positions that we have requested. And we hope that the town of Hopkinton will support your public schools. So the FY21 budget will be handed over to the town today. And we thank you, as always, for your support. Music